What is going on guys? Back with another video. Today's video is the Valencia Rebuild. Recommended by Connor Greaves. Thank you for that comment. Much appreciated. So, let's bring Champions League glory to this club. Starting out with the squad, we've got some decent players like Sillison, Gaia, Guedes, Gomez. Soler is quite a good wonder kid. But we desperately need some improvements in the defence and striker and right midfield. £55 million pounds in the bank is not too bad for the first season, so let's sign some good players. We've got our first player departure, Mangala, going to Reigns for £3.6 million. Pounds. Our first signing is the German midfielder, Norhaus from Borussia Mönchengladbach for £41.5 million. Pounds. This is a proper player. Our second player departure is Kevin Gamero going to the Saints for 8.2 million pounds we've strengthened our right midfielder spot nicely signing Trincao from Barcelona for 27 million pounds I'm selling off our dead wood selling Pinchina to Granada for 8.5 million pounds we might as well have a cheeky look at our youth players the only one there is this Cuega guy I can't pronounce his name but he looks alright, 72 rated, left midfielder, 17 year old, he could be a decent bench player. I've let our South Korean wonder kid striker go to Brighton for £13 million. I think that's a good prize and hopefully we could get a centre back in. A centre back yeah, well we've got him in, Davinson Sanchez arriving from Tottenham for £25.5 million. I think that's a very good prize for an experienced centre-back. That's all she wrote for the transfer window. Three class players in and all the dead wood out. We need to see where we are in January the 1st. Arriving in January, let's see where we are in the table. Bloody hell. 13th place. We're closer to relegation. Oh my god. I thought we were going to get Europa League football at least. So we need to sign at least one big player to get us going. Because this is a shambles at the moment. 13th place, you're having a laugh. We have sold the Serbian central defensive midfielder Rasic to our Spanish rivals Real Batiste for a massive £34 million. Out with the old, in with the new. Sanjo Tonale, I've bought you. Bloody hell, that was cheesy. But Sanjo Tonale joins us for only £30 million. Pounds. That's a steal. Only one player in, and I think that's enough. So let's see where we are at the end of the season. We're at the end of the season, and I wanted Europa League football, and we've got it. Just finishes six plays. Atletico Madrid wins it, Real Madrid second, Barcelona third. But us at sixth place is not too shabby. Let's see the teams at the bottom of the table, and it's Cadiz. Asuna and Elche, sorry if I butchered them, but you're going down. But sixth place, Europa League football, Europa League money, Europa League players. Did we get to the final, even win Copa de España? No, we didn't do any of it. Barcelona won Sevilla. Of course they did. Let's see how the other competitions finished. Europa League. Napoli are the champions against PSG. How are PSG always in? Europa League, I still don't get it. Champions League winners are Manchester United. Bloody hell. End of season stats and Guedes finishes our top goal scorer. With Trig Cow being second player. So not our striker. And our top assist is No House. That's what we brought him in to do. Get assists and he's done it. Well, there's some decent development in the team. Gaia. Guedes, Norhouse, all being absolute units in the team. But we need to continue developing, continuing getting into the better competitions and winning it all. So that's it for this season. Hopefully, we bring in some good players to push into Champions League football and win the Europa League. So let's get into the next season. To kick off the new season... Gabriel Paulista leaves us for Bayer Leverkusen for £31.5 million. 
Gomez leaves us for Inter Milan for £48 million. The right back position was looking a bit weak, so we've gone out there and signed Aaron Wambasaka from Man United for £77 million. The centre back that every FIFA player loves, Rafael Varane, for £60 million. That is a very good prize for the overpowered centre back. Dom Calvert Lewin, one of the most promising strikers in the world at the moment, joins Valencia for £63 million. Maybe overpaid, but hopefully he scores goals. That's all the business done in this window, so let's see our Europa League group. Hopefully it's an easy one to get out of, and it's, it looks promising. Olympiagos, a Portuguese team, and I don't know where the last one is. But hopefully we can top this group and just move on to the next stage. So let's see what we are at January the 1st. You know the drill by now, we're here at January, let's see where we are in the table. And we're fourth place, so that means we could get Champions League football, but we've just got to keep the momentum. Atletico Madrid at the top, but who's at the relegation? Zone, and it's Mallorca, Sporting and Granada. But, fourth place, not too shabby. Let's see where we finish in Europa. And it means we are through against Milan. And with second place. So we did top it. But second place means we got through. So that is not too bad. But we're up against AC Milan. A release clause being paid by Leon for the right back Correa. For £9.4 million. We've used that money to buy an experienced keeper. Hugo Lloris joins us from Tottenham for £8.5 million pounds that's it for the january transfer window let's see how we get on against ac milan we're up against the italian giants ac milan in the round of 32 i'm only expecting a win here get us a good start for the first leg we're gonna quick sim it as always and it's ended up in a 2-1 win that's a very good result for the first leg let's take it away to the San Siro Stadium. We've just got to keep this lead. And score more goals. Because that's what the fans want at the end of the day. Just more goals isn't it. Aggregate 2-1. With quick sib. And the score. Finishes in. A 3-3 free, free draw. So we're through. Because we won the first leg. Let's go. Now we're up against Atalanta. Another Italian team. This is the round of 16. I don't know what we're going to get here. Hopefully a good result. I don't know what the Atalanta team's looking like. And it's a 1-0 win. That's a very good result. And now we're at home against Atalanta again. Come on. Quick sim. We've got to keep the lead, boys. It's only a 1-0 lead. Just don't give it away. And we're through to the quarterfinals. And it's going to end in a 2-1 loss. So we've been knocked out by away goals. So let's finish the season. Disappointment in the Europa League. But let's see if we've got Champions League glory by finishing in the top four. And we're third. That's a very good place to be. Above Barcelona. So it looks like we are challenging to be the big dogs. The relegation teams are Mallorca, Sporting and Eidbar. But. The most important thing is that we've got Champions League football and Champions League money and Champions League players. Let's see who won Copa de España. And it's Real Sociedad beating Barcelona. So Barcelona bottling finals. That's very weird. A Europa League winners are FC Braga. Carlos's team. Against Atalanta. So we lost to the runners-up. And the Champions League winners are, are Bayern. Against Real Madrid. A 2-1 win. Let's see the stats of the season. Our top goal scorer is our midfielder, Soler. That's very strange how our strikers not been scoring. And assists, again, is Norhouse. So a very decent season. We've got our target by going Champions League football. But we just got to improve the team. And hopefully make it all the way to the final. Maybe or maybe not. But very satisfied with this season. It's not been too bad. It's not been the greatest. Eventually, I do want to win La Liga. Let's finish this season and hope for the best to the next season. 
we've signed the best midfielder in the world right now. The Belgian central midfielder joins us for £96.5 million. And this is the right step to take if we're going to win the Champions League. With Dominic Calvert-Lewin not scoring enough goals, I've decided to sign another striker. Gabby Lezus joins us for £50 million plus our academy graduate. If you think we overpaid for Dominic Calvert-Lewin, think about Barcelona paying £80 million for the English striker. I think that's daylight robbery. See ya to Barcelona. With the spare money, I've decided to sign a backup centre-back. Jules Kunde signs for £47.3 million. And hopefully, he can cover the defence if they ever get injured. With the cash we've got left, I've decided to sign a backup striker. Alexander Lacazette joins for £20.9 million. We've signed two crucial players and two on the bench. So let's hopefully that's enough to win the Champions League. Before anything, we need to check out our group and we've only got Borussia Dortmund really there. That's going to be any challenge. Shaq Ardenets and that Turkish team I can't pronounce, but I think we're going to top this group with ease. You know what time it is. January the 1st. Let's see where we are in the league table. And we're fourth place, so it means we're up there. I wonder if we're going to ever win it at one point, but it's Atletico Madrid that's always dominating the league. The relegated teams so far is Cali's, Elche and SD Uesca. But we're in a top four, and that's what matters. But we need to start dominating La Liga. Let's see what we were in the Champions League groups. Have we done it? Oh, we are through against Paris, though. A bloody, against bloody Paris. But we did top the group. Borussia Dortmund second, yeah. Turkish team third. And Shakhtar Donetsk fourth. Bloody hell. But we did dominate in. We didn't lose, so we were invincible in the Champions League. But we're up against PSG. And that's going to be a tough game. It was a boring January, but we've got the quality in the squad already. Let's see how we got on against PSG. Well, here's the first leg against PSG. We desperately need to get a result here. Get an away goal, get the advantage, and then hopefully get a result in the second leg as well. But it all depends. Can we get a result here? And we got a 2-2 draw. So that means two away goals. But it all depends on this game because they're away now. We're at home, so we've got the home crowd, but we need to get a result here. And it's a 2-1 win against PSG. So that means we're through to the next round. And it's against Leverkusen. Well, we're up against the German team. We need to get a result here. We're playing a 4-3-3 central defensive midfielder, Tenale. Let's quick sim it and hopefully get the best result. And it's only a 1-1 draw. So we need to win this game or we're out. Well... We got the away goal, but it was a draw, so we need to get some bit here. And it's a 2-1 win, which means we're through to the semi-finals against the Barcelona, our Spanish rivals. Can we get a result? I don't think we can. Barcelona, at this point in time, have a decent team. Dominic Calvert-Lewin, will he score against us? Bloody hell, it's a 2-0 win for Barcelona. That means it doesn't look good for the second leg. We're at the Camp Nou. Well, FIFA doesn't have the Camp Nou. But I don't think we're going to do this, boys. A 2-0 advantage to Barcelona. Oh, we only won by one. That means we're out. And we're, we've sibbed all the way to the end of the season. The only positive is that we've finished in a Champions League spot and we're second place just behind Atletico Madrid. So that means we are getting closer to winning La Liga. Copa de España winners were Real Madrid. Getting a trophy for themselves. You don't really see that happening nowadays. Getting trophies for Real Madrid. Europa League winners 
where Atletico Madrid should have won two trophies, the won La Liga and Europa League. Champions League winners were Liverpool. Jeez, they did win 2-0 against Leipzig last night. Decent little development in the team. Guedes being our top goal scorer. Is that the second time? Where is our striker? Top assist was Kevin De Bruyne this time. That's what we brought him in to do though. Get them assist. There's a lot of development in the team. Everyone's getting better. Everyone's getting the quality now that we need to win the Champions League. Overall, it was a decent season. We did get knocked out of the Champions League, but we're back in it. I'm probably going to have a stronger squad. So let's get into the next season. And to kick off this season, we've signed the Norwegian powerhouse, Erling Brot Halland, the wonder kid from Borussia Dortmund. We offered 150 million and they accepted it. So Erling Brot Halland, welcome to Valencia. And we've signed our second player of the summer, and it's Thibaut Courtois. The Belgium keeper joins from Real Madrid for £59 million. That was all the business of the transfer window, but I'm sure these two signings will ensure that Valencia will get Champions League glory. But let's see our group. This is what the group stage looks like. Spurs, RB Salzburg and Spartak Moscow. I think we can top this group with ease. Early Spurs can challenge us really. So let's sim all the way to January. Hopefully this is the final time we have to sim all the way to January. Let's win Champions League this season, please. So let's see where we are. We're first in La Liga. Are we finally going to get the title? Barcelona, Atletico third and the relegation teams are Zaragoza, Sporting and Valladad. But this could be the season where we win La Liga, finally. But let's see what our Champions League group is saying. We did go through, and we did top the group. We played six and won six, Spurs second, and the rest really didn't have a chance, did they? But we are through, and let's see what we can do with this January chance we do. And it looks like we haven't signed anyone, so it's another boring chance we do. So let's see if we can beat the Italian Stallions, Juventus, the big dog of the Italian league. Hopefully we could get a result. I don't see Ronaldo anywhere. Jeez. We've quick simmed and it's ended in a 1 1 draw. So we've got the away goal, but it's still a draw at the end of the day. And you need wins to get through, really. So my players are gone. That's a bit bad. But if we can get a result here, I'll be happy. I don't mind what's the score, just as long as we get through. And it's a 2 0 win. So we're through. To the quarterfinals. And it's against Atletico Madrid. Another Spanish rival. But can we win them? That's the real question. The orange kit in Valencia looks really nice. But it doesn't matter about the kits. It matters about the result. And we've quick simmed it. And we've got a 2-1 win. That's a very good result. We're taking it to the second leg. And we're at home this time. So, can we get one over of our Spanish rivals? Because they've been dominating in La Liga in recent years. And they may even win it in real life. But let's see. And the result is a 3-0 win. So, we're off to the semi-finals. This is where we got knocked out last time. And it's Barcelona again. What are the chances of that? If we win these, I think we'll have to win the final. Come on, we've got to. They've done us out last time. Can we win over him? And it's ended in a 1 1 draw. So it's Barcelona with the advantage with the away goal. But we're at the Cap Nou now. And we need to get a result desperately. We need to get a win. We can't draw. We need to get a win. 1 1 on aggregate. But doesn't matter about aggregate. It matters about this. And it's a 2 2 draw. So we go through by away goals. We're off. To the final against PSG. PSG is going to be a very tough game in real life. They've just beaten Barcelona 4-1 with a Kylian Mbappé hat trick. But we did finish first in La Liga. We've won our first title. Barcelona second, Atletico Madrid third. 
and the relegation teams, they stayed the same, but in different positions. So they're off to La Liga, Santander B, whatever it's called. But we did win the league. That's a very good feat to have. The Supercopa Atletico Madrid won it. And we were in the final, but we bottled it. And the Copa de España, I swear that's only just popped up. And it's Villarreal. It's not looking very good as in finals. We've lost every single one. Europa League winners are Real Sociedad. Jeez, winning Ajax. But, of course, there's only one game that matters. And it's the Champions League final. Valencia versus PSG. So let's see our final stats. This is the last time you'll see our players. And Trincao is our top goal scorer. It's never our striker. It's always the Winkers. We're playing like the Liverpool system. And the top assist was Soler. That's crazy. Because I swear I put him on bench for half a season. But it's all been very good with these players. It's been quite a good career mode, this. I know we're going to beat this team. With this team against PSG's. I think we're going to win it. Westion Productions. Here it is, the moment we've been waiting for, the Champions League final. We need to start strong, we need to get that goal, just hopefully boss the game basically. And we've picked it up in midfield, Halland pushes it to no house, he's tackled him and he's through on goal. He's put it on his ball and he's got, yes, bloody hell that was mixed emotions. And we've scored in the first three minutes of the game and we're up 1-0. Jeez, that's a very good start against PSG. Worrying PSG are coming. Saul through ball. Wambasaka picks it up. Sanchez to Varane. Picks it up in midfield. Haaland make that run. And he has. Can he take it past the defender though? He's coming in. He's cut inside. He does a bit of roll. And he's scored in it. Oh. Why have I said he scored? He's just shot and he's bottled it. Well... Goal kick for PSG. He hoofs it out. Good head. Well, it's son. Guedes to Haaland. It's like the same opportunity. Fake shot. Tries to go for that corner. And he scored. Goal. Erlen brought Haaland. That's his speciality. He goes to the PSG fans. Shows him his name. Remember it. Erlen brought Haaland. He's going places. Potential Ballon d'Or winner, he is. What a finish, though. Fake shots to the defender. Sees he can whip it in the corner. And he does that. Jeez, what a finish. Navas in that has no chance saving that. What a goal. And we're 2-0 up against PSG. Come on, boys. PSG in our box here. Can we get a good tackling? It goes dancing around the defenders. He passes it off to Neymar. Oh, he's made him look silly. He, oh, they're just dancing around. Get a tackling. As he bottled it, Saul picks it up. Mbappe does what he he does best with the little skills. Look at him. What an there? Sanchez. We're through. Guedes finds Trincao. He's got all the time in the world. Can he finish? He goes for the day. Can it seem? What a finish. The Portuguese winger with the cheeky little chip. You don't get much better than that. That's a very classy goal. One touch, passing it off. That's a very good goal. A lovely ball from Guedes to Trincao. Sees the keeper off his line and just digs him. What a goal, son. It's now PSG at Edge at box. 
Itachi! Yeah, what a save by Kuotoa. Pushes it out for a corner. Can we get it clear, boys? Neymar whips it in. Oh, easy save for Kuotoa. That's what he should be doing anyway. Come on, another corner. Is it Neymar again? Swings it in. It's the exact same. Varad. Oh. Tackle. Let's get a tackle in. Right, Varan. Keep composed. And he loses the ball to Neymar. Can we get a tackle in? Good tackle. What? What's happening here then? Ref, if you've given that as a penalty, that is cheating. Ref's blind. I'm telling you, the refs in this game are thick in head, basically. How is that a penalty? Alright, Courtois against Neymar. Courtois giving it all the big in. We've got... Oh, bloody hell. To be fair, that's a very good penalty from Neymar. Oh, you didn't need to do this celebration, didn't you, you little cocky chuff? Look at them all. It's like they're winning. Bloody hell. Well, we've still got a 3-1 advantage. We've picked the ball up. What a sloppy through ball. Oh, it's all going wrong. It's like they're winning, boys. We're 3-1 up and we're playing shite all of a sudden. But we've picked it up. And it's Halland. Run! Run! <laughs> He's picked... Through one on one. I've tried to be a knobhead and took it past keeper, and it's just not worked, has it? Bloody hell! And it's clear, and that's half time. Can we have a strong start to the second half? Guedes with the pace takes it past whatever Dagba, whatever his name is, whips it in. Dead ball. Neves just picks it up like it's nothing. PSG. Ball in the middle. They're passing it around. Doing one, two through ball and they've scored. What a soft goal to concede. And now it's 3 2. And they're looking like they're going to win this, boys. This is not very good. And it's Saul, the Spanish guy. So he's betrayed us. But it's a very good little play from PSG. The passing. But it's just a very soft goal to concede. No one's picking up anything. Oh, we've got the ball on the wing. What can we do? He cuts inside, does a little roulette, as he does too much, passes it off. No house! Sounds like Millhouse, but no house scores. Hats off to you, mate. On the turn, and just hits it. Bottom corner. Havas can't save it, so we've got the advantage. 4 2, and we're looking more comfortable. And this was lovely. Lays it off. No answer with a turn and a finish. What a goal. That's just very classy from the German midfielder. Big players performing big games. And there he is. My manager. Very happy with himself. Bit of a receding airline. But we're winning this trophy. And it's PSG with the ball. Saul doing his little tricks. And we've picked it up. Can we clear it? No, we can't. Mbappe picks it up. Pills it inside of Bappy again. It's lovely from PSG. What they can do with a save. Quartar pulls out a big save. He's pumping his fist because he knows that could save the game. Look at that. Little flick. Passes it off. And they've kind of bottled that finish. And Bappy got to score there, to be fair. If that was me, I was furious. Neymar whips it in and it's out. All right, we've picked the ball up. Holland, one on one. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> I've tried to be a knobhead again, and it's just not working. Why do I keep doing it? But now they've picked the ball up. Saul. To whatever this guy's name is. Saul, back to him. Mbappe. Oh, that's just lovely again. These one, two little players from PSG are just working past my defence. Sanchez and Varane, you've got to be doing better. Now, Saul's, Saul's got a brace, not Saul. The DL. It's late drama. What can we do? Can we make the game look more comfortable? And De Bruyne finds it over the bar. Should be finishing them. You're a world-class midfielder and you should be finishing them. But what time, ref? Time. We've picked the ball up, so it's okay. We've shot. And it's gone all over the place. And it's... Oh, it's time. And we've won it. We've done diddly done it. We've bloody won the Champions League with Valencia. And the players go absolutely crazy. Because we know we're going to lift up that trophy. And we're champions of Europe. 
Valencia FC, you have been rebuilt and another Champions League winner. Well, that's the Spanish side Valencia rebuilt and hopefully they can win trophy for years now as I leave them to do their own thing. And if you want your team be rebuilt, leave it in the comment section down below. And if you haven't already, hit subscribe and smash that like button. Any support is much appreciated. And hopefully I'll get on to doing your team next. But as always, see you into the next one. Bye.